Velos is has to has to change with the the advances in technology. Okay, it ha, it simply has to right as does le, all legislation. All legislation has to change as technology increases. Now the whole point of the, not the whole point, but one of the main parts of having a VLOS requirement, according to the CAA and the FAA, is that the operator of the unmanned aircraft vehicle, i.e. the drone, has to be able to see the, su the surrounding airspace around the drone to make sure there are no incoming other aircraft. Now, with the, the recent development of head tracking, which allows you, in effect, not in effect, it allows you to be flying drone and look all around the entire airspace round about the drone. And that way you, you can be sure, no matter how far away it is from you, even if it's out of your sight, you can still tell what the surrounding air, airspace is like. You can still tell if there are any aircraft in the area, even when the drone is out of your visual line of sight. Now, you're all going to be thinking, I but the VLOS regulations say this, blah, 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 blah. And I agree with you. They do say that that is not, is, is, is not allowed. But there's just been a jump in technology that now allows us to be aware of the airspace round about us when the drone is not within our visual line of sight. That must have an impact on the regulations. If it doesn't, that means that no matter how advanced the technology becomes, there can never be a change in the VLOS regulations. That's not right. And it, and it's not it's not it's not the way the law and regulations work. The way that the law and regulations work is that they develop and change according to time going past, new technology, new devices coming into play. So I'm not saying that, that this is going to, going to allow you to see the drone if it's out of sight, because if the, if the drone is beyond your visual line of sight, you can't see the drone. But you will be able to see the airspace around the drone when the drone is out of visual line of sight. So therefore, you're already saying that half of the reason that you need to have visual line of sight, which is to be able to see the airspace around the drone, is can now be fulfilled without you actually having the, the drone and the drone itself in visual line of sight. So what do you think about that? What, what, what do you think? Is, is there room here for a possibility of the VLOS, the VLOS regulation being rewritten or possibly a change there or some, some kind of adaptation in that. I, I think there's, there's room for something. I don't know what yet, but I thought, I thought that was really interesting, an interesting point. E even, even as an advanced warning about future, future technology. I'm going to start to feel like Matthew Brennan, you know, oh, he, here we have this and here we have this uh, and this is here and this is here and that's here, here we have it. <laughs> he, 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 does, he does a lot of his entire videos with his hands up here. I always think somebody's standing behind his camera with a gun saying, geez, your wallet, Matthew, because <laughs> watch watch his videos. The next thing you see, his, hand, his hands are always up here like this. Anyway... <laughs> Uh, what was I saying? Aye, so, uh, so I think as, as technology is advancing, what has always happened in the history of mankind in civilised countries like Scotland, the law changes with usually a lot slower and a lot, the, the law tails behind the, the changes and the advancements in technology. But I think this is, this is an area for Let's have another look at this at VLOS. Do we really now need to have a spotter or a, the drone controller to be able to see the air surround the, the airspace surrounding the drone when the the, the 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 flyer of the drone can actually look around the drone himself as if he's in the drone and check the airspace in a much better way than I can check it from the ground with my bad eyesight. Okay, so that's that's the debate, and I'm going I'm going to I'm going to check through the comments to see how many of the ninety nine point nine percent of people disagree. 